Oh hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Bliss Foster, and today we're going to talk about t-shirts. All of the t-shirts, every single t-shirt. Over the years I've accumulated a lot of different kinds of t-shirts, and so I wanted to today kind of go through what t-shirts I have gotten and which ones have really stuck around and why. This video is gonna be a little bit unusual structurally in that it's not really gonna have a structure. I've now picked up all of my t-shirts off of the floor and steamed them, so we're just gonna kinda of move through one t-shirt at a time. Here we go. <laughs> So I own a total of four Helmet Lang t-shirts and I, well, four types of Helmet Lang t-shirts. I own duplicates of some of them, but I love Helmet Lang t-shirts because of the cut and the material, which honestly, for designer clothes, if there isn't something unusual about the cut material, you are being played. This tee and all the other tees that I own from Helmet Lang are from the era when Alexander Plokov was running the show. For me, having a really long torso just make it where everything is way easier. Um, the sleeves are nice and tight, the way that Helmet made them when he was there, and I just, I don't know. The cut of the t-shirt is really nice, and they have 2% spandex in them, which gives them this kind of like billowy feeling to them, very lightweight. This is one that looks kind of similar, I guess. Um, it is definitely cut differently, and the material is definitely different, and I just really love the color that it came in. This really like earth tone thing, and this is a uh, this is one that is made of uh, what they refer to as whisper jersey, which means cotton. Yeah, yeah. This is my uh, early two thousands long sleeve white t shirt thing. I'm like straight out of a Backstreet Boys music video over here. But no, this is another one that I actually mostly use as an undershirt, but I do like it an awful lot and I've tried to keep it nice, like super, super lightweight cotton. It uh, feels very nice against my skin. A few tiny details with these, but for the most part, it's just a long sleeve white t-shirt that's really useful if you're wearing a long sleeve white button up. Next one is this guy who is, uh, you know, kind of on his last leg, getting very thin. Was not that thin when I first bought it. But geez louise, do I love this material. Oh my gracious. As far as like things that feel good against my skin, this is the number one t-shirt I have ever owned. This shit is made of miracles. What is it made of, you ask? Well, let me tell you. 50% tensile, 35% cotton, 15% cupro, cupro, I don't know. Normally I'm very anti shirts that are like half cotton, half polyester, or some polyester offshoot like tensile. But this one is just, it's great. Ooh, ooh. JW Anderson and Uniqlo. These sold for like $10 or something. I was so excited. I was so excited, in fact, that I got them in two different colors. But yeah, the fabrication on these is garbage. But it does have this nice little detail down the middle and, uh, you know, pockets and stuff. I don't know. I liked them. For 20 bucks, I was cool with it. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this cotton that they use is, uh, is bad. But to keep it within the category of Uniqlo tees, this is one of my favorite t-shirts that I own, and it is secondhand. Now you may ask, Bliss, why would you get a say blah, blah, blah? I didn't find out about this t-shirt until it was sold out like a year prior, and my wife knows that I was kind of obsessed with it, so she hunted one down and bought it secondhand from somebody who was really confused about why she wanted to buy their Uniqlo t-shirt. But yeah, this was one of my Christmas presents from her. I fucking love this shirt. Y3 basic logo shirt. I've always really liked the concept behind these shirts because they do the like rubber stamp thing which feels really cool on cotton. And this shirt used to be a lot cooler than it is now because it has this like swirl detail on the collar and on the cuffs. Obviously after it's been worn a few times it starts looking a little bit less cool. Uh, the reason I keep it around is because this uh, fabrication is one of the coolest that I have ever felt. 
And I believe that's because it's 82% cotton, 15% wool, and 3% spandex. It just has this awesome stretchiness, elasticity to it that uh, I really wish I had more clothes like this. And so I've kind of almost kept it around just as a reference so that if I ever find something similar to it, I can compare it to the thing that I love so much. This is one of my most favoritest t-shirts. It is a double T by the good doctor, Robert Geller. And I think it might actually just be two shirt. I've never seen how these two shirts are connected. Hang on. Is it? Now it's a Rick Owens shirt. But yeah, this one has always sort of just been a perfect look sloppy but still look really cool kind of shirt. I do love Robert Geller. So I own very few graphic t-shirts and I, just, I think mostly it's just because I can't find very many graphics that feel right on me. This is one that feels incredibly right on me. I love this shirt. And if you don't tell anybody, I can let you know that this is a shirt from Old Navy. Figure that out, folks. I don't know. Damn it, I just love this graphic that is on this thing. No idea who this woman is. I think it's Marilyn Monroe, but uh, could be someone else. I honestly have no idea. Um, but yeah, this shirt was given to me by somebody who bought it like 20 years ago, and I have, I love this shirt. <laughs> all right, time for the most controversial pick of all the picks of all the t-shirts that I own. Does anybody know what this is? I saw it on Tumblr. I am completely obsessed with Peter Seville. And I realize that this is like the most like basic bro freshman year of art school t-shirt of all time, but I don't care. Peter Seville can overcome all of those things and still manage to be at least satisfying for me to wear around the house. This is my latest t-shirt pickup from Sasquatch Fabrics, and I just really love that graphic. I can't quite tell what it is either. This is one where I just got so visually entranced by this picture that after looking at it for like three or four minutes, I was like, okay, well that settles it, I just need to buy this t-shirt. So nothing particularly unique about the cotton or anything, it's just a graphic that I really happen to like a lot. This is like the heaviest t-shirt that I own. This thing weighs like a pound and a half. I love this thing. I have beaten the ever loving shit out of this shirt. This is like the most hard wearing article of clothing that I think I own. For context, this is what a normal t-shirt looks like when it is dropped from 12 feet. This is what this t-shirt looks like when it's dropped from 12 feet. Pretty cool. Let's move on to the final t-shirt that I'm going to show you and what is ultimately my absolute favorite t-shirt that I have ever owned in my entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, the Alexander Plokov basic t-shirt. The fabric is pilling up in a pretty serious way. There are a lot of holes on it. And it's, to be honest, pretty misshapen at this point because it has been stretched out just from being worn so much but I love the fit of this t-shirt. I will literally continue to wear this t-shirt until it no longer functions as a t-shirt. And then I will probably attempt to repair it in some way. But yeah, Alexander Plokoff no longer has his brand. I believe he's a free agent just working for different brands, helping him on their design team and stuff. But I really miss the work that he did and I especially miss these fucking t-shirts because they're really cool. All t-shirts that I own, 10 out of 10, easily. All right, cool, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye now. Y'all come back now, you hear?